Your girl is a Taurus sun. Focus on your peace, moving forward. If it shows up half-baked, half-cooked, half-made, half-ready, release it. Period. Stop forcing shit that's no one. Ain't gonna hold nobody. Ain't gonna fake shit, ain't gonna hold shit, ain't gonna make shit up. I love what I do. Cause I'm tap the fuck in. I'ma read this motherfucking course yeah. left, right, up, down, sideways, sideways. Tap the fuck in. You hear me? Yeah, I read Mirror it. two. Tap the fuck Backwards in. In reverse. Yeah. I'ma read these bitches. Hello, Cancer. Welcome. Let's get into your bonus messages for being top two mostly viewed for the week previously i am very grateful for you all support anything you need to know about me as you know for those that are returning is down below if you are new here welcome let's see what's the tea for cancer please angel spirit guides and ancestors we got death and a five of pentacles and the eight of cups and the eight of swords at the bottom of the day well it ain't looking too hot for somebody you connected to or for some of you this is an experience you find yourself in something coming to a close being forced to walk away feeling a sense of lack or stuck energy scorpio taurus pisces and gemini energy those signs could be significant in your birth chart someone else's birth chart or somebody you're dealing with or someone they're dealing with let's see for cancer what's the tea what do they need to know? The star and the four of wands. A healed partnership. A healed marriage. Okay. Rejuvenation. Renewing of vows for some of you. Stepping in humani uh, into him to humanitarian work. Okay. Something in humanity. Returning home. Homecoming. Being celebrated. A star. Rising above. Aquarius and Aries energy okay we will clarify what else a twin flame dynamic chosen for cancer what's the energy coming out a little sideways strength there's been a hard battle here leo energy confidence i'm hearing strife strife struggle overcoming obstacles uh, something could have been ongoing with the affinity sign over her head and to be honest this is the card eight that's also infinity. Okay, what else for cancer? Some of you could be on that Cancer Leo Coast. The moon was done in the dark would be brought out to the light. Someone could be subconsciously withholding something, repressing something. Overwhelmed in emotions. One more shuffle spirit for cancer. What's the energy for cancer's bonus video, please? Okay, take a look at these, but we definitely not keeping all of these. In order of received, judgment, an awakening, a reckoning about this Queen of Pentacles energy. It could be your own business or this person's business. Um, There could be a marriage here. There could be someone stepping outside of their marriage. There could definitely be two people here being judged for whatever this is that they feel guilty about. They have blood on their hands. There is blood on those swords. They definitely can't sleep there up at night. Some of you are dealing with a, a Leo. I have to say, I got two lions showing up. There could be two Leos involved. But um, these two people are not a pair, but they may be partnered up for something. I got rejection here. I got fighting for something. I have a new beginning and someone being, uh, yeah, feeling rejected, feeling doubtful, feeling lonely, feeling depressed, uh, feeling like they have a lot of obstacles to overcome and was always something here. Shame, guilt, anxiety, fear, though, about what's coming here. This Queen of Pentacles and this King of Wands could have definitely been partnered up and some kind of root work or magic because there's a serpent there and this king of wands could also be a warlock but they're both in the upright so it could be a facade it could be some kind of glamour but for some of you there's been a lot of sneaking around you've been definitely reevaluating reassessing cheating you know fearing getting caught um wanting to let it go and start over and dealing with whatever rejection is is that you're feeling or not feeling good enough okay they could have put you in a third party dynamic or you did this but let's Let's not, <laughs> let's not hit me like that, spirit. All right. Let's see. The towel at the bottom of the deck. Let me get a few more if needed for cancer. Or oh, is this what we're dealing with on the table, child? What's the tea for cancer, please? Look like I'm going to be okay with these three cards. We're going to get into it. 
sideways. Three of Wands. And this King of Cups at the bottom of the deck could definitely be you. Waiting on ships to come in. Expectations. I'm hearing honor. Hmm. Honor. Honorable. Expansion and growth. A delay. King of Cups and the Ace of Cups. And a Ten of Cups. Damn, and a Ten of Pentacles. Ooh, whoa, if somebody's in love. They could want to marry you or issue. You... There could be an inheritance here connected to this King of Cups energy. Damn, as soon as I say inheritance, that Ten of Pentacles, there's the Ancestors card right there. Wow. Okay, slipped out. Let me keep it over there. What's the star? Self-care. Just cut the deck. Rejuvenation. The star for cancer. What's the energy for cancer, please? Venus, offer romance, love, beauty, creative arts, wealth, harmony, attraction, and an offer. There could be a renewal in a relationship. Someone could have taken a spiritual bath and it has opened up their energy here to receive love. There's also a love spell that could have come off someone with alchemy after they took this cleanse or went through this healing journey or raised their vibration. Hmm. I got You'll Be Sorry by Young Blue featuring Brooklyn Love. Here we have love energy here. I'll get another clarification. What's four of wands for cancer? Higher self, activation, awakening, and a timeline shift. Some of you are realizing what type of partnership that you're deserving, that you're wanting, or now that you've awakened to your higher self, you're able to come into union with this connection here, with this four wands being union, celebration, marriage, home, family. It could have been a, to could have been a toxic relationship or a toxic dynamic here with the devil. Uh, devil card addictions patterns energy vampire trauma bond and stuck that you're now awakening that you don't want this connection you want more strength or oh, this is them for cancer some of you are stepping into a new home you're getting a new home strength for cancer okay so i just did a, a members only video that i will be releasing for public knowledge and it was about someone water sign trying to stop and block a connection from coming together this two of cups is cancer energy um because they need to heal in a child this connection is stronger than any force with the infinity strength to the two of cups magnetic two of cups passion mutual feelings feeling drawn to someone is inescapable whatever bond this is is unbreakable Okay, someone's going to have to find the strength to release a relationship. I don't see anything about releasing. So find the strength to step into this partnership, to fight for what they want in partnerships. Okay, someone's trying to hold you back that you used to date or you're in a partnership with, but your higher self is helping you to awaken. I did see the devil. Could be somebody trying to keep you stuck or bind themselves to you. Mm -hmm. What is you? What's this uh, three of wands? Four cancer. Heightened intuitions, truth, clarity, third eye, seeing things clearly, nostalgia, and trust the universe, regrets, repression, suffering, and silence. So someone is now seeing clearly that there's a delay, what they must do in order to achieve, what's been holding them back, why things are not coming in for them. They now see things for what it is. What's the king of cups at the bottom of the deck? intuition subconscious emotions fear deceit things are not as they appear this king of cups is a dishonest person or they're hiding their emotions he's at the bottom of the deck so i can read him in reverse because i didn't flip it so it can be either upright or in reverse this person definitely may be emotionally manipulative or some kind of narcissistic person king of cups with the moon fear deceit things are not as they appear they could be wearing a mask they could definitely be um living a lie they're 
and their image is a facade but let's see until that tears apart this is someone you're trying to free yourself from or they're trying to free themselves from you let's get another clarification chariot <laughs> i'm tapped in cancer energy with the three of pentacles some of you in partnership with spirit the three of pentacles could be allies okay people you're teamed up with working with but these could be also entities someone's behind the scenes doing sneaky shit seven of swords or you've been sneaking around with this person in a third party dynamic you're being guided to move forward seven of pentacles your investments you, you've been seven to the eight of pentacles they fell out together damn all of your hard work being paid off once you realize what it is that you truly want, what would actually be worth harvesting, something you can take away from and not lose. Uh, Eight of Pentacles is skill, mastery, working towards something, learning something, plotting, planning, seven of uh, swords showed up, more planning and patience with the seven of Pentacles. What is it that you really want for yourself or someone wanting to invest in you or everything that you've been harvesting and working on? It's time for you to reap those. Everything that you've been working on, it's time for you to harvest and reap those benefits. Or reap what you sow for all of the work that you've been doing, whether it be spiritually or um, financially. What's the star? <laughs> right back at the cherry. <laughs> cancer energy, success, overcoming obstacles, grit, drive. What's the star for cancer? The star is the nine of swords. What are they fearing? <laughs> they could fear things not panning out for them. Um, something backfiring, uh, moving too fast, being impulsive. Nine of swords to the night of swords sideways. <laughs> like energy. It's a lot of energy, a lot of mental, it's projection. Hold on, y'all, let's see. What is this nine of swords about, child? Mm -mm. Nine of swords for cancer. <laughs> Stop the reading. Because <laughs> I'm about to get... Fired up. All right. So they fear. Nine of swords. Retaliation. Punish. Payback. Revenge. They fear whatever the fuck they sent out. Like I said, this knight of swords is energy. They fear whatever they did to you to come back on them. Backfire. Knight of swords. This knight of swords is like a bullet train. Shoo! It came out sideways. They fear a boomerang. Oh my goodness. Because what's at the bottom of the deck? The same beings you're partnered with in spirit. This is spirit supporting you and probably more than likely a significant other. Intervention. Divine intervention at that. Or this is you fearing someone intervening or something. Some things. Ancestors, guys, and angels. God himself interfering, intervening on this connection wow so if this was another scenario y'all's person is dealing with somebody that's afraid of what's going to come back to them on what they did to your person let's say for you men you got a lady out there that you care for deeply someone has been abusing her rather spiritually or physically and that person is scared for shit to fall and crumble in their life Period. I ain't finna keep beating around no bush. I know. I said what I said. These cards said it for me. What's the star for cancer? <laughs> Yo. So, wind it back. Whatever the fuck I said when I first saw this star, it's stamped. Moving on. <laughs> Spirit. Y'all know. Your girl will get fired up. What's this for a wine? The sun. Enlightenment. 
temperance temperance this card slipped out i was gonna save it for later your ancestors bringing peace and harmony into your life just fucking period or this is what's happening for this person because more than likely there's a yin and yang twin flame sun and moon dynamic that somebody has been trying to stop and block coming out here with four of wands higher self some of you are going through an awakening some of you are healing some of you have definitely been teaching others to be very optimistic in your community here joy and celebration some of you your vitality is being revitalized with the motherfucking star on star and higher self and activation wow and things are being balanced out so you can move forward and be able to be in this self-sufficient energy life of luxury peace and harmony being brought into your life just period some of you are re <laughs> being relieved of a toxic relationship so, so that you can finally move forward some of you are gaining a confidence strength so that you can move forward from a partnership and be somewhere where you truly want to be happy strength <laughs> what did i see that seven i saw that seven of wands you know what that seven of wands was in that reading that i'm releasing yes from the members only tab standing your ground and overcoming obstacles fighting for something standing firm for what you believe in leo on leo energy the seven of wands is leo as well it's all y'all could be dealing with leo but it's all about that inner drive ambition courage resilience grit Okay, if you want to be happy, you're going to have to fight for that. Or whatever the fuck that has been thrown at this person, not a sword sideways, is going to backfire because they're stronger than, than ever. The Only the strong survive. Okay? Okay, let me move on. This King of Pentacles is showing up again. He was in the other reading. Okay. So that, that yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that uh, members only video that I released to the public is connected to this reading. What's the Seven of Wands? Spirit say in too deep by Drake. Drake or Scorpio. What's who's this Queen of Cups? Could be a Scorpio. Who is this Queen of Cups? King and Queen of Cups. For some of y'all, this y'all ex. Some of y'all, this y'all person's ex. For some of y'all, this somebody you already with that you you need to go on and overcome that obstacle and release it. Well, who is this Queen of Cups? Hmm. I ain't, I ain't. Ooh shit. Somebody you in a partnership with. This four of wands is showing up again, y'all. All that means is everything I said over there, wind it back. So, I'm going to say it again, though. I feel like this is some kind of twin flame dynamic. Some kind of marriage that's supposed to come together. Some kind of marriage or relationship that you're supposed to overcome and stand firm for what you believe in. Okay. Some of y'all, this is your family, your ancestors helping you to fight. Strength to the seven of wands in order to get back into union with whatever this is. Two of cups. This is crazy ancestors slipped out and i put it to the side i'm going to clarify it but i've already made it clear someone's fearing retaliation or punish or payback for what they have done due to the fact of divine intervention some of y'all have to overcome a relationship you don't want you're not happy in some of you your person is fighting in her relationship for you masculine energies queen of cups to the seven of wands strength four of wands they probably more than likely being abused i hope not okay well for some of you this is you standing your ground fighting for this relationship protecting this relationship the seven of wands is also protection and boundaries Knight of wands because somebody keeps sending energy away Knight of wands Knight of swords they sending they sending projections and they sending fire magic they doing candle work and they're projecting <laughs> let's roll on about this reading spirit three of wands Eight of Wands, you're moving forward regardless. Now you see what you must do in order to move forward. This person sees that you're going to be able to move forward as well, no matter what, no matter what the delays they've done. Let me get a, uh, what's the Three of Wands? Let me get a Two of Wands. Death at the bottom of the deck. Three of Wands. Mm -hmm. Lockdown, mental prison confinement. Over there, Two of Cups, that desire, love, sexual chemistry mental prison somebody not well or they're going to be eight of swords in spiritual jail so that you can move forward some of y'all this person wants you to wait on them to get out of jail you realize you can't do that clarity one more for lockdown soulmate similar friendship romantic partner 
focused on you eyes fascinated watching whoever has been delayed is now going through an awakening offer on the table proposal commitment four wines four wines two of cups wow what's the lockdown part of this though more than likely they was under an illusion or a spell or somebody has to be removed for something to come together lockdown for cancer Hierophant, Taurus, energy, God himself, six of pentacles, stepping in to support you, Taurus, again, okay, or they were married, for some of you, they were in a dynamic, or in the institution, because the institution could be the Hierophant in jail, for some of you, literally, what's locked down, some of you, they've learned a lesson, four of pentacles, holding on to something, holding back, holding you back, or being held on too. They were being held on too. That was a delay. However this go, they were locked up, you were locked up. They were trying to lock you up or keep you stuck, rather spiritually or physically, for some of you in a relationship, or you felt stuck in a partnership that you were holding on to, or a marriage. There's some kind of freedom energy and momentum with the Eight of Wands moving forward, progress. Okay, there's a change, there's a shift, Eight of Wands. I should have just said that and moved the fuck on, but I wanted to see. Yeah, your partner with spirit, six of wands, six of cups, ten of cups. Ooh, Lord, she about to really pan out for whoever this is. What's the moon and the king of cups? Chariot, five of wands. <laughs> the same person sending this energy, knight of wands, five of wands. This is chaos magic. They're very impulsive and reckless moon five of wands someone's conflicted emotionally let me put that out there someone's conflicted mentally let me put that out there someone's been sending chaos magic let me put that out there retaliation nine of swords they're they're scared of that shit coming back child what's what's this eight of uh eight of what king of pentacles what's this moon some of y'all to you and your significant spiritual spouse or this king of cups is somebody you actually married to. For some of you, they're narcissistic. They're controlling you. They're playing on your emotions. Or this is what's happening to somebody you with. For you men. For some of you, there's somebody conflicted between two men. She doesn't know who to, who she wants to be with. One more for the moon. Emperor sideways. They're trying to block someone's divine counterpart. Empress right behind it. Wow. Wow and keep you two stuck and binded but the ace of swords is coming through on this motherfucking toxic devil energy somebody doing black magic y'all y'all in my members only video the king of cups came out with the devil i'm about to cry again because this ace of cups is right behind this king of cups and the devil what's right behind this king of cups the ace of cups this king of cups is obsessed. They're going to three of wands that was sideways right here. That I scooted over. It's all connected. This person is trying to delay and stop and block. You know what? <laughs> Let me. Where was that? What's this emperor sideways? Drastic, extreme, harsh, cut off, one more ascension, spiritual path, and awakening. If you and this triggers, if you and this emperor have been delayed, y'all ain't been talking over, you're this emperor, and you ain't been really wanting to speak to your own goddamn empress. If you've been feeling some kind of disconnect from you, or if you've been feeling this, or they've been feeling this with you, flip it, switch it. Let me just generalize this shit. If there has been any kind of disconnect, semi cut off, don't talk to you the way that I used to talk to you anymore, don't know what I want, lack of stability, lack of support, lack of accolades and things like that, that's getting ready to change because someone is going through an awakening and an ascension. You're moving forward. Someone's vibration has rose or has arisen to the point where they can become whatever high vibrational being energy that they're supposed to be and whatever spell work that this is is no longer working or sticking what's alchemy for cancer <laughs> alchemy some of y'all could be dealing with the Taurus. chris brown is on the radio saying don't judge me judgment what's alchemy 
desire fell over ascension love sexual chemistry insatiable wanting more twin flame right behind that intervention someone has been trying to siphon your sexual energy and doing magic on you but spirit is stepping in on it or you've been doing this to somebody what's alchemy why did this alchemy card slip out nurture compassion love sincere feelings wants to take care of you remember transcendence okay another tarot for alchemy nurturing desire closing it out for cancer empress <laughs> yes period Period up, period up, uh, period. <laughs> you know what? This reading was a personal celebration for me. If you know, you fucking know. But anyways, this empress was the chosen one in her family. She can alchemize something out of nothing. Ancestors chose this empress. She's the black sheep. She's the one that will break generational curses. There is nothing that you can do to somebody sitting on the throne. There is not a fucking spell that can be done to this motherfucking empress. This empress is high value, highly desired, very abundant. With this sexual chemistry, sexual energy, someone has been trying to attach themselves to this empress energy. But you know what? Spirit is providing for, supporting this person, and this empress will receive her divine mate. Or you're this person's divine mate and it's time for you to step up into your rank and go and get your empress. However this fucking go. Or if you're in this empress energy, your spirit team, your ancestors, your guides have chose you to stand in this energy. To step into this light worker energy. To step into this chosen humanitarian energy. Stand your motherfucking ground seven of wands to anyone that has been trying to combat your manifestations and alchemize against you. If you're the motherfucker that has been trying to alchemize and stop and block and delay this motherfucking empress. Keep shaking in your motherfucking boots, bitch. Because whatever you fearing is coming. 